Hey guys, what is up? Cryptograns here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial video. This is episode 16, and today we'll be making an infinite achievement system. Alright, so if you haven't subscribed here, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell so you get notifications whenever I upload, and hit a like if you enjoy this video. And anyways, let's get started with it. So this is my second time making this video. My first try was not so good. I ran into a lot of problems, so I'm going to be going through this tutorial again. So, you guys don't see the first time, but this will be my second time talking about this. Um, so, this things look a little different. So, uh, first of all, we need to make uh, two things. An achievement button and our own achievement screen to see all the achievements. Alright? So, I already have an achievement button here. So, you just create another button, like usual. And I'm just going to drag that up here. And then, we're going to create a new achievement screen. So, I have one right here, but I'm going to create one from scratch so you guys can see me do that. So I'm going to hide this main screen by going to our canvas group, typing zero, and turning these things off. So we're going to create an empty, and we're going to name it Achievement Screen. Okay. It should be dead in the center, right there. And now let's make it to the size of our canvas. Make sure you anchor it so it stretches to our canvas as well, or our screen. All right, so in here we're gonna create uh, we're gonna create another empty object. Create empty. We're gonna call this an achievement. And what we're doing right now, we're gonna create an achievement prefab to make our lives a lot easier. Okay, so it should be about this size. Make the size of my buttons here so it kind of matches like that. All right, and now I'm not, I don't want to copy these, but so here what I have. Can I do that? Okay, yeah. So basically what I want you to do is to create a title text. I want you to create a progress bar. And I want you to create a progress text to show you how far you are into the achievement. And it should look like that. So we can move stuff around real quick. And that looks good. Alright. And then I'm going to put these all into my achievements. I can delete my old thing. Alright, so I have the script here. I'm going to delete this. Okay, so what we're going to make, what we're going to do is we're going to create a script for our achievement. Alright, so we're going to create a script called achievement. Create an ad. Oh, my apologies. This script is supposed to belong into the achievement up here, not the progress bar. So make sure when you create it, it's in the achievement. So in this case, we can just drag our achievement script into here. Alright, let's open that up. First things first, we need to add our properties in this achievement, which should be self-explanatory. We don't need these two. We need using UnityEngine.UI. All right, so in here we have a text, a text, and a progress bar, which is an image. So we have two texts. So the first one is going to be a public text title. We also have the text, another text, public text, progress, and we also have an image for fill which is our progress bar. Alright, so that script is done. Once that saves, what we gotta do next is drag our title into the title, our progress bar into here, into the fill, and our progress into here. And this is the progress bar on top. Let that, how you set it up. And next, we're going to drag this achievement into a new folder called Prefabs, which I've already created. So just drag it in there. And it should create as a prefab. Very nice. We can rename these as well if we'd like. So I can just rename that to Achievement 1. And let's create another one. So we're going to have two achievements. All right, we can rename that to Achievement 2. Move that down. And we don't need to change these texts because we're, our script is going to handle that. Make sure you save. And now let's head back to our main script. Alright, so in here we're going to start from our player data. So since we have two achievements, we need to have two big doubles. Public, big double, etch for achievement, level 1, and we are going to have etch level 2. Alright, now I'd really like to do an array here, but the problem is that players with previous saves that don't have this feature will get an empty array. All right, because this is defined, because if we define an array here, it's only going to be defined once until we call this public player data or full reset. So that's an issue and I don't know how to solve that yet. So we're just going to do this for now. 
there is something out there that can fix that. But for now, the only solution I know is that it's going to relate to version control, where you basically take that old save and you apply the new stuff. And if it doesn't, if that if it doesn't exist. All right, so make sure in our full reset, our at level one and two is equal to zero. We are done with our data. Now let's head down here. So under here, we're gonna we're gonna create episode sixteen. For me, I'm doing that at least to organize. All right. So next, we need to create a, a game object so we can find our stuff. Which this is our game object the achievement screen. We're basically gonna search through this achievement, this game object, and look for these two right here. We're gonna look for a script achievement in each of these game objects. All right. So we do this by adding a game object. We can call this achievement screen. And we're going to add a list. This is where we're going to manage all of our um, achievements. So public list type achievement is equal to, no, we need to name it, achievement list is equal to new list type achievement. Parentheses, semicolon. And I said public. It's public. All right, we're good there. Yep. All right. So next in the public start, we need to start searching for the stuff inside the achievement screen. So we can create a for each. And we're going to just put var because we are already defining what this object is in the following statement. So for every object inside the achievement screen, we're going to get the component, get components in children. Make sure it's get components, not get components, because get component is a single object. Get components is a list of objects, which is what we're handling right now. And for each cannot do get components, it's get components, okay? So make sure you're paying close attention to that. I completely screwed that up last last time I tried this, which is why I had to remake this video, because it took, took too much time. And we're going to do type achievements. So the reason why we don't need this here is because we're, we're searching for achievements, we're going to assign it to this var. So if we put achievement object, then, I mean, we already know what it is, so it's kind of redundant. All right, so then every time we run through this, we're going to add to our list. And what are we going to add? We're going to add object, or obj. You can name this whatever you want, whatever makes sense, but I just put obj for short. You could even put x if you wanted to, just like that. That works too. What's wrong? Can't resolve symbol x. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> we need that parenthesis. Okay, and that's it. That is it for this start method. All right. So we're gonna make a new method. So before we start that, I'm just gonna type up here run achievements because we're gonna make it that method in a second. So copy that. All right, and under the update method, I'm gonna close that. Oh shoot, I still have this stuff. <laughs> Alright, we're going to create a new method called public void run achievements. So I can just paste that. Boop. So we have public void run achievements. Alright, and here we are going to manually up, not manually, automatically update each achievement. So this is also where I ran into an issue last episode, is that I tried to make it into a for loop to make it as sweet as simple as possible, but I couldn't, there's some, it was this stupid level thing that I couldn't figure out. Because I tried to loop through, the, I tried making a new array and assigning it to these two, and trying to loop through that, but I figured that it was just changing the array, not the actual variable, so that clearly didn't work. So I'm going to have to figure out something else for that. But for now, we're just going to make it look, look reasonable, alright? So before we start doing anything in here, and we can also make this private, we need to create two objects up here. So the first one is going to be a private static string array. We're going to call this the achievement strings. This is for the names, so you can do achievement names if you like. Uh, it's going to be a new string array. And we're going to assign our achievement names in here. I hate how it does that. All right, so the first one, 
the first achievement we're going to do current coins so whatever your coins currently is so we're going to do current coins and our second one is going to be total coins collected all right and we should be good with that remove that equal sign Yep, we're good for that. And our second one is going to be a private big double array. And this is going to be our achievement numbers. Because the reason why this will work is because we don't need to change them. Unlike levels, we actually had to change them. So I did this exact same thing with levels, but it just didn't work. So new big double array. And we are going to do data coins for the first one because that's our current. That's our current coins. And now the second one, we need to create a new variable, which I've already created up here which is called coins collected. So make sure you create coins collected. It's a big double and you make sure it's set to equal, make sure it's set to zero in the full reset, just like that. And down here, we are going to type data.coins collected and that's it. So now we need to make this even easier. We need to actually do the achievement stuff. So this is gonna manage each, each achievement. So now we need to create one more method, all right? This will be called a private void update achievements because we need to make sure it levels up once it's done. So we're going to accept a few things in here, or we're going to input lots of things in here. So the first one's going to be string name, so it has a name. So the big double, first big double, is going to be the actual number. So we just put number in here. And we're going to ref big double level because we're going to be changing the level inside here so we need to make sure that changes outside of this method uh, we're gonna have another ref because we're changing the the progress bar so the fill is the progress bar and we're also going to have the title text in here because we're going to be changing that so we have to have the ref and another ref text which is going to be the progress text all right so this should be good to go Alright, so first of all, we need to create our capacity, which we're going to run it on an equation called cap, which is equal to big double dot pal 10 level. So it's basically 10 to the power of level. So now make sure, I'd highly suggest you to use this equation unless you want to figure out how to do the math for the for a future equation, okay? So make sure you have this exactly, because I really don't want to make a new equation for every single person. Unless you know math, okay? So I'd, I'd recommend you use this equation. It's pretty, it's a pretty, you know, easy one to do. All right, so we're going to change our title text before we do all this nonsense for leveling up. So title, oh, it's just title. Title text is going to equal to, so we have our name. So we're going to put name. And what we did here is that we have our achievement name, and we create a new line, and we have our level, right? Okay. So we have our name. We're going to create a new line by doing backslash n. We're going to have parentheses in here. And in, we're going to put curly braces and put level inside. We have our achievement name. All right. So for progress text, it's going to be equal to dollar sign. And uh, so here we need to have our first number because it's a number over capacity. So number or slash cap. And that will be this number right here. But we need to add our notation. So basically what we do is do notation method, put it around there, and then put two for two decimals. Same thing here. I don't know why that did that, that was a glitch. Usually it's supposed to wrap around it, but F2. Just like that. So notation method, the variable, and F2. And that's what our progress bar text looks like. And now we need to control one more thing, which is our progress bar. So we just type our big double fill method that we make in our that we made in our progress bar episode. And here we type number for the first one, cap, and then fill. Alright. We're doing number divided by cap, which is this, which is why we do number cap fill so it's x divided by y all right time to do the level up stuff so hopefully this will all make sense so we're going to create inverted if statements so basically if it's false it's just going to return so we do that by doing if number is less than cap and we're just going to return then we're just going to ignore the rest of the code and return it okay 
However, if it's true, if it's greater, if we can level it up, we're going to create a, a temporary variable called big double levels equals zero. We're going to check one more time. If one over capacity is greater than zero, greater than one, greater than or equal to one, where we can add on another level, we're going to, we're going to assign levels to fl this equation, floor log 10, one over cap plus one. So basically, it will use this equation to predict how many levels you can get. So let's say you currently have one coins and it's level zero, and you get a million coins, you can level up around, let's see, that's one, so that's 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. You can level up six times. That will do this for you. So that's why I say that you gotta use this equation first unless you know how to do the math to change this right here. Because if you make this, five to the level this is going to be completely different it's just not going to work all right oh and one sorry it's supposed to be number i did this yesterday so i did one <laughs> i changed it now all right and in here at the end we are going to add level to levels and we should be good to go so now we gotta finish the run achievements so we just gotta sign all of this stuff that we currently have so for string we already have our names up here. So we're going to do achievement strings zero for our first one. Our number is going to be, oh, this is going to be achievement numbers, by the way. Achievement numbers for the big double array. For here, we're going to do achievement numbers index zero. And here, we're going to have a ref. This is going to be our ref data dot at level one. So this is where I try to make the array here is because I actually changed this variable in here. So I tried to make it an array thinking that it would change, but it doesn't because it's just an array of numbers set to this. So it doesn't work. I thought it would. I mean, it's kind of clever, but it doesn't. So we have our data dot at level one. And now we need to have another ref for our title text, which is going to be achievement list index zero dot title so that's why we make that list because it makes it so much easier all right and in here we need to make one more which is achievement list nope achievement list zero dot progress and that is it Mm, we have an extra argument. What's wrong? Uh, we're forgetting our fill. That's why. All right. So ref achievement list. Put it after the level zero at index zero dot fill, and that should be good to go. Oh, comma. All right. We have our thing right here. Now we just gotta do it for the second achievement. Would you press enter? Achievement strings one. Numbers one, achievement list one, achievement list one, one, and then you change this level to two. That's it. We have our achievement successfully done. And this should work for the first time. And I think I just 10 times faster than I did yesterday. <laughs> I spent like two hours. <laughs> it was not good. It was just some really dumb errors. Um, so yeah, we should be good here. I don't know what this is. Uh, yeah, that's just, yeah, useless. All right, anyways, we can go back to our game. Oh, one more thing. We need to create a button for this, or a method for the achievements button. So we just go all the way down here. Uh, change tabs. So we're going to add another one called achievements. And we need to have an achievements group. So we go all the way up here. We're going to add achievements groups to episode 11. Achievement group. All right. Copy that. Go all the way back down here. And let's create another one of these. All right. And we can set this to false and set achievements to true. And we can just copy these and copy achievement groups like so. Just like this. And now it should work. Alright, we can get out of here.
So now the nice thing about this prefab is that we don't have to keep dragging this title progress click bar every time we copy and paste this achievement. So we can have 100 and not even have to touch this ever again unless we add more stuff. All right. So we have two achievements. We don't have to do anything here. But for game manager, we need to drag our achievements group, which is going to be our achievement screen. We need to add a canvas group first. Canvas group. And we can drag that in here. And we need our achievement screen for the game object here too. Save. All right. And for our upgrades button, we need to rename, no, our achievements button, we need to rename this to achievements as well. So we can actually access it. And now let's turn this to zero and this should work. Save it and play. All right, so let's test it. We have our achievements right here. See, so yeah, this is currently right here. So if we get more money, this will increase the achievement. And right now it's at level three. So that method clearly works. Because so it started at 10, which is level zero, 100. No, it starts at level, yeah, it's level zero. No, it starts at one. Okay, one, 10, 100, and now we're at 1,000. So that's three levels, all right? So now if we spend, this should go down, but this should stay. So let's do it. Let's buy some here. See how this went down? This is our current coins. And now that's the coins collected. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for being patient with my very slow uploads. All these new subscribers coming in and looking at my analytics, it's just looking awesome. It's motivating me like crazy. And I promise I'm going to upload as many videos as possible and continue building onto this series. So if you enjoyed this video, smack a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell, notifications, share this video with your friends. If you have any questions, join my Discord or comment down below. Uh, more members on my Discord, highly appreciated. Anyways, have a great day. Peace. One more thing I want before I want to end this video, I just want to scroll through my script real quick just to make sure you guys are up to date. And hopefully mine looks close to yours. Mine might look a little different from what my actual series actually followed, just because I had some issues in the past. So anyways, here's what my script looks like. I'll just scroll through it. You can pause whenever. And I really don't want to like restart. I don't want to do the whole series from scratch, because I know that will take me a while too. Even though I can easily just make it. But yeah. Hopefully mine looks similar to yours. If I'm missing a few methods, then don't worry about it. It means you're probably better shaped than me. <laughs> Alright, anyway, thank you guys.